Hello. 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 Also waiting on Stoker to get back. He is doing something else. <laughs> People off and they're doing things? How dare they? It's rude. So rude. So rude. I mean, I'm doing things too, but I'm doing awesome things. <sighs> and I'm multitasking. Oh, okay. That's fine then. How's the chat? My brain is currently still thinking about uh, the cover for the Androids novel. Oh, that was pretty cool. Now Boxer is bopping you. Thank you, Rush and Cookies, Easy. for the subscription. Tyrion, I have no idea what you're talking No idea whatsoever what you're talking about. My my eyes are riveted to the screen. It's very painful. Okay, I'm here. The stream hasn't started yet, has it? It has started. Yeah. So we're <laughs> oh, waiting hello. on you and also GC. Oh, okay. Don't mind me. Just going to eat on stream again, huh? <laughs> this oh, is... God. This is now ASMR mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. No, 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 no. It's just uh, I that that's that's the extent of it. I have no chips to share with the rest of the chat this time. I just have a little uh, a little squishy cookie. Okay. I have no chips, and I must scream. And hello, GC. Hi, get your <laughs> chips. Hello, Rick. Get your chips. Now everybody's See, do they call here. Them chips or continue. fries in Canada? Say that again. Do they? Do they Fried that's, potato. That's a British thing. That's yeah, that's nowhere British in thing. North America do they call them oh, okay. chips. Oh, I mean, they, they I was do reading. Some... I was Go reading ahead. about how in New Zealand, uh, they managed to get the worst of both worlds, <laughs> <laughs> because they call both of them chips, mm. thus confusing all communication. <laughs> and they try to specify, and they're like, no, no, potato chips, and then realize that this does not clarify anything whatsoever. <laughs> well, this is it. The point of no return. Once we meet Varina up here, there's no turning back. Whatever happens, happens. We better be ready for anything. Proceed. Proceed. <laughs> Proceed. Proceed. Hang on, all of us on the count of three. All of us on the count of three. One, two, three. Proceed. Resistance futile. See, I'm just imagining the snow grave. <laughs> so it's you. I was hoping it would be you. The most direct inheritors of my magic reverie has seen in a thousand years. I must admit, you puzzled me back at Jarvis's little show. I was expecting something different. But I suppose it doesn't matter now. Marina, listen. We're not here to fight you. We just want to talk. Please, you're beginning to bore me to tears. We've learned some things about your history on Reverie. We know it wasn't always like this. It doesn't have to be this way. Oh, really? How exactly did you learn about my past? We're... Not at liberty to say. <clears throat> Great. Of course my mouth would be full. <clears throat> but we know there was an incident before you left. That's what led to all of this, isn't it? An 
Instant? Oh, that's rich. And you still think I left your world by choice? Do you want to know the truth? You want to know what really happened? I'm not one of your gods. Perhaps you figured out as much by now. I never even wanted that cursed title. And when you actual gods caught wind of the new girl who was teaching the mortals magic? Well, they had none of that. Magic was supposed to be their domain. The very power imbalance that entitled them to rule all of you in their eyes. But taking away the knowledge of magic I have given the mortals would be a tall order even for them. It was spread exponentially. And while they knew I wasn't part of their Patreon, or Pantheon, people loved this new goddess of magic. I Sorry. wasn't part of their Patreon. Sorry. <laughs> I love that. That was good. She was a great P she was a great PR move. They liked being given credit for what I have done. They just didn't like having me around. So one night they decided to burn my little magic school to the ground and quietly banish me from brevery. The world would never know. The world may never In know. In a single night, it was all gone. A decade of my life up in smoke, and I was left to die alone in the void. I'd given this world everything. My time, my magic, my love. But you only knew how to take. And now, I'm finally taking it all back. We... We had no idea. Spare me. I don't need your to feign sympathy. I need your magic. With your magic, I'm going to fix your cruel, broken world, starting with my revenge against you gods. But we had a deal. You get your chance to impress me. Now, come on. Enough talk. I'm level 99, by the way. Ha! <laughs> enough talk! Have at Have you! At you. <laughs> Let's dance. Fine. If it's a fight you want... Then it's a fight you'll get! Oh, oh Snizzle Snap! So, um, I highly recommend everyone. Alpha's like, time to fight lowercase g god! I, I highly recommend, um, uh, everyone, uh, starting off by smooching a lot. Okay. Joker's like, <laughs> the, Joker's the like, fight oh, starts and it just devolves into them just... <laughs> what are you doing? In the middle of our fight? I'm the last boss. How dare you start kissing in front of me? Stop that! You're making this weird! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was my... Did she just disappear? Yes. Yes. I got, I got sick and tired of all the kissing. I, didn't, I don't remember her doing that. She did the same thing to me, where if I had everyone kiss on the first turn, she just went blip and disappeared. And then I had another turn to actually do buffs. Okay. Found it too awkward. That's funny. Oh, hello. Uh, n Never mind. I didn't even see who it was. <laughs> oh, okay. She said he's not watching this game because he doesn't want to be spoiled, so why why did he pop in? I don't know. I guess he I think he thought the game was over. Oh, I think it's because uh we're probably going to um Jackbox later, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was gonna say the tunes are definitely not gonna work <laughs> in this fight. Now's probably not the time for my tunes. I'll just attack instead. How convenient. Is the winning strategy to make the final boss really uncomfortable? I mean, to be fair, have you ever tried that with a, uh, a final boss in the game? I'm sure I did. I'm trying to think of one at the top of my head right now, and come on, don't hold back. Crack in the armor is a really good move. It's also nice because it technically counts as a debuff. It goes before all the other moves. 
which means you can get damage in before the opponent even has a chance to do their turn. <clears throat> oh, I think you have enough to- Yeah, you do! Sorry, I got a little excited there. Yeah! Still excited. <laughs> <laughs> Stoker, are you excite bike? I am excite bike. Super excite bike 64. I'm so excited I summoned the train. Oh, yeah. Duplex that train, yeah! Yes, I'm train. going to suplex the train. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <clears throat> that never gets old. It really doesn't. I'm glad that that uh, made it into um, uh, the it's Pixel Remaster. Yeah. Just wouldn't have been the same without it. It's hilarious. I, I read on Square Enix's tweet one day. They even had to confirm to their fans, yes, it's still in the game. Oh, you know what? Faith Shield would be good. Oh, yeah. Usually. Yeah. Usually is. Sorry, I won't I won't backseat game. Unless I forget. In which case you will. <laughs> <laughs> In which case, you know, you can just uh, kill me. Rude. Well, except for the killing part, but rude. Wait, killing me isn't rude? <laughs> Is that you're, what you just implied? You're, you're. I mean, not really. You, you've been dead so many times. It's like only a minor inconvenience. Yeah. yeah you know what? You have a point. Also, horror, we're horror bugs. We know what that kind of thing does to us. Yeah, it kills us. Yeah. What's the What's the anime line? But murdering people kills them. Something like that. Yeah. It's like, but murdering people kills them! People die if they are killed. That's it, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't remember the exact wording, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, I still love that line, that was like, wow. That's one of uh, the all-time great lines right there. When dubbing frickin', goes... Freaking Shakespeare. Shakespeare, eat your heart out. When dubbing lost all Fs. When dubbing goes horribly wrong and or horribly right. She is doing so this move a lot more than she did when I fought her. When dubbing goes horribly wrong and or horribly right. So basically like the Digimon dub? Yes. <laughs> GC. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's it? uh... Incredible! I haven't felt this alive in centuries! You're the most fun opponents I've faced in a long, long time. Guess like a quick going easy on you. Uh oh! She did a Super Saiyan transformation. I love that her magic boosting move affects the party as well as her. <laughs> Talk about getting like super into the fight. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad that. Bobby ultimately decided to make this like an all original thing and not an MLP game because like <clears throat> this has its own kind of different tone to it that I think you know needed to be its own thing. Yeah, I you think say it's, so. I think it's better as a. <laughs> I think it's it's definitely better as a um, as an original thing, which is not to say that yes. I. I disagree with the concept of fan games. Yeah. Um, but I enjoy this as uh, as a unique thing. Well, I've noticed that a lot of fan-produced stuff kind of, like, it's like sort of the sum. What's the word I'm looking for? Like an in, in, in incubation pod for bigger, for bigger, more original ideas sometimes, you know? Mm-hmm. My well, opponent got a lot of people though that really want to create a, a bunch of spin-off series for it though. Yeah. Not to say that was a bad thing, but at the same time you can go a little overboard when you think about it. I also like uh I wish more RPGs would do this. I like that they keep a visual reminder of all of your um, buffs on the screen. 
is handy. Yeah, I think I kind of wish I was for it did that for the enemies too. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, well yes, fair. Yeah, only when you're like targeting them with an attack does it show up. But yeah. Yeah. yeah um, some... The I think there's a lot of games that do try to do that, but they end up trying to do it with like fancy SFX and stuff, and it becomes sort of muddied, mm. uh, and that you're not really able to discern one or the other. If I'm not mistaken, the most recent RPG maker allows you to do that kind of thing, like what we're seeing right here, but uh, of course it's a lot more fleshed down. Oh no. Allison is the devil bunny. Yeah, she oh, is. Oh, never mind. She's not the devil bunny oh. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Oh, fix Mrs. Swami over. Say what? N nothing satisfactory thing. Oh, I see. Fix Miss. Yeah, fix Miss lasted like three weeks. That's a lot of swords. Yeah, but she doesn't have a lot of hit points left, so. <clears throat> Da, 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 da. Well, hey, look at this. A bestiary me. Hmm. Hmm. You put up a good fight. It's been too long since I had this much fun. I admire your tenacity. Right back at you. Here, let me pat you up. Many of your techniques are unorthodox on their own, but together, that was something special. You really do look out for each other, don't you? I didn't expect that from you. It's not about any one of us stealing the show. It's a team effort. If we don't look out for each other, who will? Very true. Some fighters never accept that, you know. My queen, are you okay? That didn't sound like the quick trouncing we expected. Oh, we're fine, Javis. We had our fight, now we're just chatting. You know, after all that, I think I get you. But I want to hear it from you. Why are you trying so hard to keep your magic? Don't you understand how much of a burden that power is? The danger involved? It's not that at all. Magic is... Look, this might be weird since we hardly know each other, but I need to explain something to you, Verena. What could you possibly have to say that... Please, I'm curious what she has to say. The thing is... For most of my life, I've been told I'll never amount to anything. That the path I wanted to take was wrong. The one thing I've ever excelled at that made me feel like I was doing something right is magic. Magic is the ability to rewrite your own destiny. To become something greater than yourself. You were always kind of my hero, actually, because you taught us that. And I want to use that power to better myself and improve everyone's lives. To fight for the people I love. Marina, it seems like you get that, too. What you said back in Green Ridge about the state of the world, that stuck with me. And now these revelations about the gods... We can't fix the whole world on our own, and it sounds like things are even more complicated than we knew. I won't even know where to start, to be honest, but together, maybe we can fight for a better reverie. Oh, come on! What are you doing, Farina? Why are you letting these jerks talk to you like this? You could atomize them just by blinking! Is that what you think this is all about, Paula? Isn't it? I really have been a fool, haven't I? You know what? I'm just not feeling it anymore. Not feeling what, my queen? This. All of this. This isn't right. 
I was so hurt by what their gods did to me, I wanted to do something about it, to avenge those I lost. That cruelty was how I remembered this world. But these four, they remind me what I loved about Reverie in the first place. They're good people, Jarvis. I like them. I still have reasons to be bitter. But this plan isn't right. This is what Zinnia would have wanted. Verena, can I ask you a question? Shoot. What exactly happened between you and Zinnia? After talking to both of you, I still feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. Excuse me? No, sorry. It's probably too personal. I shouldn't... No, no, no. What did you just say about Zinnia? You said you spoke with her? Yes. Yes, we did. That's impossible. Zinnia was killed a thousand years ago when the gods raised my magic school. Javis, our scouts confirmed that when we arrived here on Reverie, right? There was no trace of Zinnia. Sweat drop. Uh... <laughs> Javis? Javis, answer me. Oh, well, I may have left a few details out of that report. What? It, it was for a good reason, my queen. You were just so passionate about our cause when we came up with this revenge plan. Y you'd been in such a funk for hundreds of years. But conquering Reverie gave you a purpose. I I'd never seen you so enthusiastic. I merely thought that your subjective feelings for the reptile would hinder your decision making. Oh, you lied to me? All this was built on a lie? Exactly! Look at how much we built on that lie! That's not a good thing, Jarvis. I was going to tell you eventually, my queen, I swear! You know, after we uh, killed yeah. her. <laughs> I love what, uh, yeah, chat says, it was at this moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we were going to tell you. Paula personally met your Zinnia and kept it from you. How insubordinate of her. Yeah, I was gonna bring it up, but Javis told me not to. Paula! <laughs> God, what the hell have I been doing? Okay, enough of this farce. No more taking over the world. What? You heard, uh, you heard her, <laughs> dude. I don't want to hear another peep out of you! <laughs> I've been trying to build Verena the empire she deserves for centuries! We're operating on a scale your little mortal brains could never dream of comprehending! Countless attempts and countless universes! My queen, please reconsider this. After so many years, we're so close! What about that whole plan to take everyone's magic? To restore the natural order? Ah, uh, nobody cares. Javis? Quiet. You really talk to Zinnia? How's she doing? She seems well. We've had a few nice chats over tea. Yeah, Zinnia's delightful. It's not hard to see why you got along so well. She does miss you, though. But she told us not to mention it because she thought you blamed her for everything that happened. I guess that's not how you really feel, though. No, of course not. God, I feel so bad for even letting her think that. Okay, look, Javis, Paula, we're standing down. Day one, let them keep your magic. I don't care about any of this empire nonsense anyway, Baka. I just want to see my wife. Ha-ha! <laughs> who saw, who had that on their bingo card? <laughs> Let's go back in the pocket dimension for a moment so I can gather my thoughts before I clean up this mess. Uh, it was a little Come obvious on, being, you know... Super lesbian yes. RPG. <laughs> yes. And uh, yes. I, I told Stoker the same thing. I'm just like, of course. Of fucking course. It literally <laughs> says lesbian right there. Why did I not see that? <laughs> <laughs> and they just stand at ox. Did we just win? I can't say I was prepared for this scenario. You know, Claire... That little speech a minute ago was truly inspirational. The one about magic letting you choose your own path. Uh, thanks? I think you've taught me something today. I'm going to choose a different path of my own. 
This whole time, I've just been thinking about what Verena wants. I don't think that's... But what about what Javis wants, hmm? And what I want right now, more than anything, is to wipe this miserable planet from existence. Give it a rest, Javis. We've already beaten you once and we can do it again. But Claire said it herself. Magic lets you choose your own destiny. And you and do you realize how much magic is contained within these scramblers? Be careful with that, man. Verena would never allow this. But Verena's not here now, is she? <laughs> Wait! Oh, snap. Uh oh. And I, and I freaking called it. Janice is the true final boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's ominous. I mean, I, I guess we could do it on file too, but there's no reason to. Well, I think you should want to play it by yourself, right? Yeah. You know. I, did, I still didn't use any of these. <laughs> mm -mm. <sighs> he has to be here. Correct. Final form, final form, final form. Maybe it'll be a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hope you're ready for biblically accurate, Javis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel incredible. The raw power. Minimum. I should have the minimum. <laughs> I should have done this years ago. Hey, come on, we don't have to. Oh, but we do. You've ruined my life. So now I think I'll end yours. Think fast. <laughs> Struggle all you want after this. Your little town is next. And hold it. Gotta call faith. Oh wait, that's me. Yes. Jody, is everything What is that? Go now. Talk later. <clears throat> this isn't going to hold forever. Did he even feel that? How are we supposed to beat something this powerful? Wait, Claire, I have an idea. You still have Verena's old spellbook? What? Oh, no way. Absolutely not. You saw what happened to Paula. Powering you and Allison up a second time could kill you. If we don't do anything right now, then Javis will kill us. Allison, are you in? I've got your back 100%, Melody. Fine. Here goes nothing. Allison, if this is it, I'm still glad I did all this with you. I love you, Allison. I love you too, Melody. Yo. Melody, Melody, Melody. So eager to die, are we? You should have known this plan of yours wouldn't. No! No more of this. Hmm. You want to hurt me so bad, then let's see if you can put up a fight. You really think you can get rid of me that easily? You know what? You're right. What? I spent a long time trying to figure out who I wanted to be to find the perfect answer that would solve all my issues. Allison's girlfriend. An adventurer. A paladin. None of those answers magically fixed me. Not going to be that easy. It takes time and work and a lot of help. But 
I don't need to get rid of you all at once. Right now, I just need you to shut up for five minutes. And in this moment, there's no doubt in my mind. I know exactly what I want to be. I want to be... a hero. And they're going Super Saiyan! I mean, you're going Super in something. Yes. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! You always had a bad memory, Javis, so here's a reminder. My name is Melody Amaranth, Amorous Paladin of the Novas. And if you think you can lay a finger on Reverie, you're gonna have to go through us first. This is it! Novas, let's go! God King Javis appears. Oh, we have five people in the party now. <laughs> yep, and your skills are all different and super powered too. Well, I mean, they're not all different, but, you know, close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Man, love well, that damn fucking. This shit rocks. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, the, the, we couldn't hear it in the Discord call, but yes, when it faded in on them and their, like, super armor, the title theme dropped, and it's just like, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is uh this is a fight where the uh the left and right kicks do actually make a difference because he has a wandering weak point. Also I do appreciate instead of high kick, low kick, it's it's heaven kick and hell kick. Yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Now we just need to find the Duffy and everything kick. Yeah, Claire, Faith, and Jody, uh... They can kind of just do some buffs most of the time. <clears throat> yeah, this is like... At least of course, 75 you Keep doing that. Not even gonna let anybody else take a turn. It seems. So rude. Again, this is happening way more frequently for you than it did for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think now if I, like, started the fight with Resilient Aura, and maybe that might have helped me. <laughs> I 
critical hit. One. Hey, Rage is reading us with a party of seven. Uh, Rage! Well, welcome to the literal last fight of this game. Uh, they just this is the grand off. finale. Hey, you bought a party of seven. Get out the path board. I don't yeah, know. Some serious spoilers. <laughs> Also, ooh, he's getting more corrupted. I see the Viker's on. Ooh. Well, he's got a he's got a shield. Uh, Melody has a thing that can eliminate it, but she has not had a chance to use it because she has to keep like healing the others. I mean, I guess I could. Oh, by the way, it's... fair warning, Raiders. Um, spoilers for Super Lesbian and RPG. We're almost at the end here. Yeah. They're saying they just got off of Armello and Mythics destroyed everyone. <laughs> oh, you were actually able to finish the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you played Accent? Uh, Accent. Still on my quest slowly to build every Armello character to level 10. I've got Agnia up to level 9, and then it'll be. Um... There we go. Hmm? Nope. Oh. I looked away and it was over. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm exploding! We, we did it. We. Oh, yeah. Did it. Whoa, Mel, you don't look to... Don't worry about me. The important thing is that everyone is safe. Mel. And then they both died. <laughs> yep. Yep, black. They're the eyes dead. going black is definitely a freaky part of it. Eh, you know, it just happens every now and then. Huh? Where am I? Now? Allison! All I remember after the fight is everything going dark. It's all a blur to me, too. Did we... Uh, did we die? Is this the afterlife? It's my house, actually. Verena? 
Your house is in the afterlife? Oh god, yes. No. What? No. <laughs> You're not dead. You're in another dimension. That doesn't help. Oh, come on. Look at me. Okay, your friends filled me in on your power boost when I came back to Reverie. I suppose I've missed a pretty big tussle. The adrenaline kept you go, uh, going long enough to beat Javas, but when that faded, your bodies rapidly start feeling the effects of mana poisoning. So, long story short, I removed the excess mana and healed you. You should be back to normal now, although you might want to take it easy for a while. Wow. Thank you, Verena. Saved our lives. Please. It was the least I could do after all the trouble I caused you. How long have we been out? Only about 15 minutes. Oh. Your friends have Javis restrained back down Rivery. Been five years. <laughs> <laughs> we can head back when you feel up to it. It's been 200 years. <laughs> it's been one week. Okay. <laughs> Link. Link, you've been asleep for 100 years. <laughs> oh, and sorry about him, by the way. I probably should have known he would pitch a fit. I must say, though, I'm pretty impressed. Using my own spell to beat him, huh? Very clever. Uh, thanks? I mean, the irony there. Oh, that's just great. I should write a book about it. Sorry if that sounded a little evil. I would have it. Only a little. Anyway, make yourself at home. I'll meet you outside. Be sure to check people. out snoop around in the goddess of magic stuff yes wow they have dressers in this dimension fascinating <laughs> don't touch my canadian hey, fan looks like a treasure chest from reverie probably shouldn't be digging through verena's things though oh why not <laughs> we have similar plants back home although they aren't pink in our universe it's such a go back to bed to rest <laughs> <laughs> This stuff looks awfully... Wait, is this our gear? Oh, look! There it is! The missing stuff from my basement! I never thought I'd see it again. Hold on. Oh. My god. It's all clicking. This is the place where Claire's hammer space spell goes. <laughs> the one she got from Verena's old spell book. Claire's been storing our stuff here the whole time. This is how we got Javis and Verena's attention in the first place, isn't it? And Claire's spells being tampered with? It all makes sense now. Yeah, so it was not the power up <laughs> spell. It was not the dungeon summoning. It was the hammer space spell that caused all this to start. <laughs> Which is I love so it because it silly. literally just puts it into Verena's closet. <laughs> yep. I just can imagine her one day opening the closet and just being like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't even recognize most of the languages these books are in. If Verena can travel between worlds, then who knows how many different worlds these came from. Man, Claire would kill to see these. If we're cool now, then Verena's got to invite her over sometime. Ooh, a piano. I wonder if Verena plays. I see. See, they have couches in this dimension. <laughs> it's such a nice little house. <laughs> I'm kind of amused that we went from, like, fighting the apocalyptic VHS angel to, you know, oh, man, it's so nicely decorated in here. <laughs> I, I got to kick out that saving spot. Basie still says we're doing a final battle. I'm sure that was the final battle. Ah, there you are. Glad to see you back on your feet. Could have something to drink? You need to stay hydrated when recovering from mana poisoning. I've got tea. Of all, I could also conjure whatever you want. He is fine, thank you. It occurred to me that you probably still have a lot of questions given everything that's happening. I haven't had a chance to explain myself. Anything else on your mind before we head back to Reverie? So, where exactly are we? You're in what we can call a pocket dimension. Think of it as a tiny, tiny universe. This particular one floats about in space between our universes. I'm not sure that definition helps. Well, the important part is that this is where I live. It's a place I found in my travels throughout the multiverse before I came to Reverie. It was initially just a place I used to store my junk with a hammer space stored spell, but after I was banished, I relocated here. But still, we're in another universe. Wow. 
Are we the first people from Reverie who can say that? Maybe. I wouldn't know. You're the first people from Reverie to visit this one specifically, though. How's it feel? Well, it's another event from this week that I'm going to be processing for the rest of my life. This is one of the positive ones, though. <laughs> I'm envious of your ability to still feel wonder about these things. I got bored of video games so quickly. No, I suppose I really do have a thing or two to learn from you. The multiverse, huh? Are there, like, different versions of us out there? Perhaps, but there are infinite universes out there, each filled with countless worlds. I have yet to be the same person in two different universes because of that. If you ask any way before we head back to Reverie? So, how did you and Javis end up teaming up anyway? You seem pretty cool, and he... blows. When I was banished from Reverie all those years ago, I was transported by your gods to a sort of dead end... Or a dead realm between realms. A purgatory, I guess. Javis was another lost soul banished there from a different world. He never told me how he ended up there, but you know how he is. Mm. I was Probably. capable of warping out of that dead realm, and Javis begged me to take him, take him with, or take him with me. I didn't know what to make of him, but I also didn't want to be alone. So I let him tag along. You just trusted him like that? Not so much at first. But I know that if he tried anything, I could just warp him back to Purgatory. I mean, the thought of spending centuries with him just sounds like a nightmare. Well, I do sleep a lot, and I did travel a lot without him when he was off trying to build me an empire. You end up seeing a lot of amazing things when you can travel anywhere in the multiverse. I may find this hard to believe, but I haven't exactly spent much time around Mars in the last thousand years. I've been to so many worlds and encountered so many settling species, but your lives are so short and fragile in the grand scheme of things. Eventually, I just decided it would be easier to stop caring. That's what Javis believed. And he wasn't haunted by his past like I was. He had the right idea, I thought. There was something covered in his silly fantasy of me being a beautiful, terrifying, all powerful queen was above it all. But the reason I wanted revenge was because I did still care about the people I met in the reverie. And you four reminded me that good people like you do still exist. But I totally understand if y'all had a hard time trusting me after all this. We don't have to be friends. Eh, it's not like anyone died or anything. There's an old wizard in Allison's neighborhood who's tried to take over the world like five times before, and we still let him hang around. Oh, you mean Mr. Leon? Yeah, he's great. I think he's genuinely trying to teach his eight-year-old granddaughter how to be a supervillain. Love that for them. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think that your town was direct already insane before Javis and I even showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else on your mind before we head back to Reverie? It's fine if you don't want to, but can you tell us more about you and Zinnia? He was. Well, she was my first love. I think you understand what that's like. Granted, there have been others since then. And I suspect the same is true for her. But what we had was special. I met her at a very low point in my life. She was the first person to make me feel like my power wasn't a curse. How could it be when I was the whole reason we met? It took us a while to understand her feelings, admittedly. She was so starstruck with my magic, and I was so desperate for affection. But I knew her for ten years. That was plenty of time to figure it out. Hmm. Of course, I don't know if I can face her now. She could have lived peacefully on that island if it weren't for me and my magic painting a target on my magic paint a target on her back. Now I've caused all this chaos trying to avenge a woman who wasn't actually dead. I don't know. That happens. <laughs> I don't know. That last part sounds pretty romantic to me. I appreciate you trying to lighten the mood, but she probably doesn't want anything to do with me. I think she does. She misses you, Verena. I don't think she sees your magic as a burden either. 
She's dedicated her life to teaching it to others. There's only one way to verify how she feels. I know, I know. I suppose she already knows I'm back in town. I at mean, least all yeah, her... I think everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should I have done it better? I at least have her all over the courtesy of clearing things up face to face. Thank you for giving me something to talk about all this, though. Javis doesn't understand any relationship not built around a massive power. Any time, Verena. Anything else on your mind? There's still something that's bugging me. Specifically, what you said about the gods and what they did to you. Yeah, so, like, our gods are... evil? Is it that hard to believe that there are selfish, cruel people in a position of power? Well, when you put it like that, no. They already banished you once, though. Is it safe for you to come back to Reverie? Oh, they'll probably already know I'm back. I'm actually sorry we haven't heard from him yet. I was counting on that. Probably going to talk about it in the sequel. I thought they noticed Javis undoing their seal when he took control of the tower. But it's been days and we haven't heard a peep out of them. Maybe they don't care anymore. Maybe I just a minor nuisance to them and they think I've done my time. I don't know. What I do know is that I'm done running from them. Revy was my home, and revenge scheme or no, I'm not giving up without a fight. Right on. I'm not sure how much help we could be, but if worse comes to worse, you've got allies in Greenridge. That's no slow promise to make, Melody. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty invincible right now. I feel like I could kick a god's ass. You already did it once. <laughs> See, this is why I like you. Anything else? You sure you're ready to return to Reverie? We are. Are you? Mm, yes. Let's go home. Let's go home. Got some more character stuff to wrap up. <laughs> speaking of which... Oh, hey, Javis. Oh, speaking of which... <clears throat> You're back! You're okay! Don't scare us like that again! Verena! Hello, Javis. We need to talk. I'm so sorry for the insubordination, my queen. It will never happen again, I assure you. You're damn right it won't. I told you I'm over the whole queen thing. I'm done with the villain act. I need to move on with my life. I need to have a life on my terms. And you can join me or not. It's up to you. This, this isn't like you. You haven't been yourself since your battle with the beasts. Did you suffer any head trauma in your battle? Did they perhaps wash your brain? What happened to the Verena I knew? Verena you know which is the shell of a woman indulging in a childish fantasy. That's not true. It wasn't a fantasy. Your power is real. Realer than anyone else's. Rockwood's power is not used to help those I love. I'll say it again. We're not going back to the way things were, but you can stay or not. Make amends, leave peacefully with your boys. Anything. Consider this dot, your... Dot, dot, Final fantasy. <laughs> so they did wash your brain. Claire, come here. I need your help with something. <laughs> Very funny, my queen. This is the part where you stab the beasts in the back and free me, correct? <laughs> what What are you whispering about? Jarvis? Yes? You're, You're fired. fired! What?! <laughs> oh no, looks like Team Jarvis is blasting off again! <laughs> 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 Where is he going to land? Oh, if I know. But don't worry, he's hardly a fret without a staff or my resources behind him. 
Maybe he'll learn his lesson. Maybe he won't. His choice. I just know I wasted enough time and energy on that idiot. Oh. Did we do it this time? I think you did. You guys, we did it! We saved the world! <laughs> wow, so this is what it feels like. How's it feel? Like every bone and muscle in my body hurts. That's because you two almost died saving us! I don't know what I would have done if Verena didn't... Hey, don't underestimate yourself, Claire. A lesser witch would have been able to perform that ritual at all. She's one to keep an eye on, Miss Guardian. Oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Put down the chalk mark of they did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here put their lives on the line to protect Greenridge and all of Reverie. Melody, Allison, I've never seen anything like what you two did. But Claire, to you in particular, I have to say... You did great. I'm proud I can say I have an ally like you. And never let this happen again! <laughs> Thank you, Faith. That that means a lot. But I couldn't have made it this far without all of you. And Melody, thanks for being there for me when I really needed it. That's what friends are for, Claire. Nice to meet you again on better terms, by the way, Verena. Likewise. Oh, it's for real, uh, you know... How long do you think you'll be in town? I'm here to stay. Reverie is my home. We'll have time to catch up in the future, though. For now... Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about these guys. Yeah, just like dear old dad. No invite to the final battle. Real nice, Pops. Where's his father? Uh, Verena kind of blasted him away. Oh. So what now? Truthfully, I was getting tired of serving father. My first few weeks of being alive have been spent doing his bidding. But there is much I would like to do on my own. He doted on us, but did he ever really appreciate our hard work? Nope. <laughs> Despite all my efforts, he has never once admitted that I am his favorite. Well, if you just want to hang around promise of the Kaze Cho, I'm sure you're welcome to stay. Right? A fresh start. Sure, why not? Screw it. <laughs> Yes, I will be the best at hanging around. Mark my words, Harry's. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on them, don't worry. Now, as I was saying, there's something I have to see. Take care, everyone. I gotta go see a dragon. Well, I think it's time for us to head back to Greenridge. Faith, do you think you can warp us home? Actually, if it's okay, I think Allison and I will take the scenic route. We'll catch up with yeah, we'll catch up with you later. Sounds good. See you soon. Enjoy your victory lap, heroes. As you go talk to all of the NPCs. And we try to remember all the voices we gave them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mel. Let's go home. I should probably start I should probably just keep a database for games like this. Hey, City, can I ever show you this game called Dragonflies? <laughs> do, 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 do. How convenient. And then, yeah, the, the song that's playing now is Melody's theme. You mean Melody's Melody? <sighs> oh, there's Paula. 
Paula? Here to taunt me some more? I'm not in the mood. You were wondering where you went. You think I was going to stick around and get caught in the crossfire when Java's turned into that? How come you're all the way out here and not back in Green Ridge? I don't belong there anymore. We both know that. Farina might regret what she said, but I don't. You could just stop being an asshole any time. Nah. I'll <laughs> at least give you this. You were right about me falling in with the wrong crowd. Farina was never actually going to take away your magic. What a joke. But I learned a lot about myself this week. I've got some new options now. We'll probably cross paths again someday, Galita. Don't know where, don't know when, but I can't seem to get rid of you. When we do, I hope you're ready for another rematch. You're on, Paula. Beep. And she takes a selfie. You you left yep. your fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> she left her fishing pole and her axe. But she got to teleport out of the last thing. <laughs> we don't have to revisit every place we pass through on our journey. I'm pretty beat now. Let's just stop by the places where people live. See how everyone's doing. We can head back to your place through Green Ridge when we're ready to call it a day. Yeah, so it's, it's locking you into towns, basically. Okay. Which is fair, considering. Yeah, if they reopen the whole map to you, it'd just be like, oh god, is there like a thing I missed somewhere? You know, there are rumors going around that you guys fixed the problem that was driving the monsters crazy. Which means my gear played some part in that. Wow. Hey, you think you could carry around some business cards to send customers my way? I'm terrible at self-promotion. My, my, my. You've been busy, haven't you, my little hero? Nobody seems to know the details of what happened at Mount Sappho, but the villain world is abuzz with speculation about you four. Not that I would have any connections to any underground villain networks, of course. I'd watch my back if I were you, though. You may have made some very powerful new enemies to deal with. Hero's work is never done, eh? Things business is slowing down with the monster activity back to normal. I'll be moving on to sell my wares elsewhere soon. But perhaps we'll meet again someday somewhere, Miss Paladin. In the sequel, maybe. Hey, you know, we may have learned some things about the history of this valley. Oh, I forget who vo voiced her. Oh, yeah. I think it was GC. I think it was. Yeah. You may have, or you did? We did. But I'm not sure how much we can tell you. Well, don't worry about it. You're not exactly primary sources, so I won't cite you anyway. Any account for you would just be Apocrypha. 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 I've never heard that word. Wow. Apocrypha. It's a little obscure. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you met anyone who was alive when this place was destroyed, right? Oh, 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 oh. Right? We may have said too much. <laughs> we got to here now. <laughs> you get there, Stoker? Okay. Can, yeah, I, can I read my line? No. Back to the new mysterious quest, I presume. No, this is now the guffawing hour. <laughs> Whatever you did, things have calmed down here. I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to find my lost critters even with other responsibilities on your plate. It might not have been the most important job in the grand scheme, but... Don't sweat it, Noel. Helping people is what we do. Yeah, not everything has to be a matter of saving the world. We had a direct, positive impact on someone. That counts for something. That's a good outlook to have, Allison. If you ever need more help around here, you know who to call. Ghostbusters! Sorry. Will do. <clears throat> Super lesbians. <laughs> you have the distinct sense of someone who's been, recently been to another universe. You'll have to share the details with me sometime. I love that, dear. Get out of my pit, you little freak. Fine. <clears throat> oh. Man, it's got an air scopes. You could say that. Hot damn. Can we share the details with us? Nope. <laughs> Don't know what happened, but the monster activity has dried up around here. We don't have a story anymore. Honestly, thank God we can finally go home. I have no recollection if that was the voice I gave him before or not. 
It's one, it's killer. <laughs> there are many formidable opponents here. I will enjoy crushing each and every one of them. I mean, in a pacifistic manner, of course. Perhaps the, ro the rose person in the back will allow me to act as a bodyguard for their small, helpless animals. <laughs> Looks like a lot of our recent visitors are starting to clear out. Guess business is gonna slow down. Eh, I should probably just be thankful that I still have a tavern after whatever happened to Mount Sappho. For a second there, I was worried the island was about to become one big crater. I don't think she had a pseudo-southern accent when I first voiced her, but whatever. She has one now. It's character development. Sure. Mm. Of course you have to go to Zinnia's place. A short time mm -hmm. ago. Okay, Verena. This is it. You can do this. No. No, I can't. Mallory was probably just saying Zinnia missed me to make me feel better. Or if she does miss me, I'm just scared her half to death popping up unannounced like this. Maybe just slide a note under her. Is someone... Yeah. It is you. Um, hello, sweetheart. It's been a while, hasn't it? Aww. They hug! I can't believe it. Draw so many hugging sprites for this game. And all of them are worthwhile. <laughs> yes. After all these years, I... I never thought I'd see you again. Neither did I. Have I lost you? This whole time. Hmm. Look, Verena, I'm... No, I get it. You don't have to say another word. It's been a long time. I know we were married, but I don't expect... I didn't expect you to just accept me back into your life like that. I just had to see you again. What? Oh, that's not it. I thought... I thought you hated me because of everything that happened. How could I ever hate you? Because it was all my fault. You taught me magic. That's what started it all. If I just minded my own business, you never would have been targeted by the gods. All the people we lost in that day when the school was destroyed. That blood is on my hands, Verena. I thought that's why you wanted revenge. Not on me specifically, but I started it. Oh, Zinni, I was trying to avenge you. I was going to siphon a bunch of magic so I could go fight the gods. But when I heard that you were still alive, that changed everything. I admit, I had complicated feelings about what happened. But I don't blame you, I could never. I was an adult and I made the choice to share my magic with you on my own, knowing the risks. Because I love you. I still do. I still have all- I still have all this time. And I still love you, Verena. I'm sorry I let you get your feel that way for so long. If I'd been able to return soon, I would have been in a heartbeat. But before I came here, I thought you must have hated me because of all the pain I caused you. Never, Verena. You helped bring out something incredible in me all those years ago. I may have gone into hiding, but I never let go of my magic. My last keepsake from that time in my life. And I've been passing on our teachings to new generations in secret all this time. Not even the gods could keep you down. That's the Zinnia I knew. But now that you're here... What now? I don't quite know. I'm playing it by ear. But I'm back. I'm not leaving one out of fight this time. As long as I can have a place to stay, though. I hate to impose, but... Oh, come on. You don't even have to ask. Of course you can stay. 
I'll put on some tea. We've got a thousand years worth of catching up to do. Hey, remember that uh, bedroom that I wouldn't let the other characters into? Just saying. Enjoying the view. 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 Sorry, are we interrupting something? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, no, we're just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to give Verena this. There, hands over Verena's spellbook. Ah, my old spellbook. Now this brings back memories. I think it's best if it returns to its proper owner rather than staying with me. I've caused enough trouble with it already. You certainly have. But that trouble started the complex sequence of key events that led to me to reunite with my wife. I think you should keep it, Claire. You put it to better use than I will. It's least I can do to show my gratitude. I don't receive Verena's spellbook. Wow! Thank you, Verena. Actually, on that note, I also wanted to propose something. I'm sorry, but this is an exclusive relationship. <laughs> I'd like to study magic with you two. There's a lot I still don't know about magic, but I know a thing or two about how it's used here on Reverie today. Oh, street level magic, hmm? Fascinating. I was definitely impressed by what I saw at Mount Sappho. And Zinnia has all the formal training, while you probably know magic from other universes. Together, I think we could teach each other a thing or two. I think I would like that very much. Likewise, I think that's a wonderful idea. Awesome! Well, okay, I'll get out of your hair now. We'll be in touch, though. Bye for now, my little prestige. Protégé. Protégé. Protégé, ah! <laughs> You're still trying to be all cool around our students, huh? I can't help it. Uh-huh, sure. I gotta corrupt people with my influence. <laughs> That's my job. We won't bug you for long <laughs> either. We just wanted to check on you. We haven't seen Zinnia since before the battle, after all. It looks like everything worked out here. Better than we could have ever hoped for. I look forward to getting to know how you better under less dire circumstances. I'm sure you'll be seeing me around Green Ridge. It's quite the cozy little town you got there. Maybe I could stand to leave my cave more often, too. We'll have to show you around, give you the grand tour. I'm sure there are some new dating spots that weren't around a thousand years ago. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, Paps! <laughs> and you're still as easily flustered as always, I see. I can't help it. Well, take care, you two. Aww. Precious Zinnia. Poke in here. <laughs> Yes, give them their privacy. Uh, considering this is a dragon and a, like a demigoddess, you probably want at least a five mile radius. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much soundproofing can do. Now you can visit the dream night. Look at that. Yeah, of course. Hello again, young ones. I can sense that a great change has occurred within both of you since we last spoke. I can rest easy knowing that Reverie is in good hands. Oof. Okay, going there. Nope. Uh, last place left would be Mumford and Greenridge. Thanks a bunch for fixing the internet. I miss being able to look up pictures of cowboy hats at my leisure. Things seem to be going back to normal. Finally, Stretch and I can shoot each other with blanks in peace. Dudes rock. <laughs> Don't forget that you're welcome to our humble town anytime, darling. We're forever in your debt for all you've done for us. Let's 
Seems your journey has come to an end. Guess my work here is done. But you didn't do anything. <laughs> Whoosh, I was going, mask away. I, I was waiting for Rick to say it and waiting for another <laughs> moment of them predicting that. <laughs> oh, was this me too? Thank you for bringing peace back to the wasteland. I have no memory of what I voiced her as. I can go back to gathering scrap for my art projects now. I really want to fill the town with my flowers. I can't wait to see what you do with the place. Up here? Nope. Oh, it's Are you, you finished the, finish the quest you were on? Consider yourself lucky that you didn't require my necromantic services. Although if you do somehow manage to die, the offer is still on the table. Great. So the deed is finally done. Our phone reception is back, so you must have dealt with Javas. I hope you really gave that guy what was coming to him after he terrorized both our towns. You know we didn't, Neff. He didn't stand a chance. Hell yeah. I'm sure you're tired of hearing people thank you for saving Mumford, but for real. I don't know what we would have done without you. Not to mention you saving us back at the crypt, helping me to figure out who I am. You sure had a busy week. You don't know the half of it. You're right, I don't. And I want to keep it that way. <laughs> but I do know things have been more fun here with you around. We'll have to catch up more next time you're in town. Actually, hey, you know what? What? If you two, Claire and Jody, are free next weekend, come to my place and we can have a movie night with Ipsy. Glyph can't fit through the door, but we can open a window for her to watch too. Hell yeah, sounds like a plan. Hey, fantastic news! The interface that was messing with all our machines is gone. The feral bots on the desert have finally settled down. Normalcy has returned to Mumford. Oh, I... And I no longer have a constant mild migraine. I have a feeling this was your doing. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The humble paladin won't brag about her heroic exploits. But seriously, thank you. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Hey, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, come on, we only live a few miles away. We'll be back. Especially because there gotta be, there's gotta be more treasure to scavenge out there in the desert to help pay their bills. You're not wrong. Ah, oh, good. I hate goodbyes. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us, though. Oh, yeah, don't forget, you have the uh, final bosses, the final three bosses in your bestiary now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Forgot about that. Hey, just because you saved the world doesn't mean you can touch my drill. <laughs> you broke my drill? <laughs> okay, Javis. Self-proclaimed court mage of the Verena Empire, Javis is mastermind behind most of what went down this week, having manipulated Claire into summoning his forces into reverie. His true nature and origins are unknown, but for one reason or another, he takes the form of a bipedal VHS tape. For, while not as powerful as Verena, Javis is easily the craftiest foe you faced, using the power of the Scrambler to his advantage. On top of the powerful beam attacks, corruption, and even ability to turn the party against each other, he's also able to conjure glitch clones of the party to aid him in combat. <clears throat> Player secret notes. Okay, we've shared a lot with Mona through this bestiary, but knowing the truth about Verena and the gods is probably a bridge too far. This is for our eyes only. Sorry, Mona. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <clears throat> okay, God King Javis. On police officer? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you not see that one? 
Did we? Uh... Allison's notes, A cap at these guys, especially. Ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I feel right at here, home. You here feel home. right at here, home. Yes. Right at home here. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm failing it. I ain't, I ain't able to formulate them words. Nobody thinks I'm weird for the way I dressed here. They just think I'm weird for my horrifying body made of dark ichor. <laughs> Which is just the way I like it. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I think this was Jones. Uh, oh, later. When I open this place, I hope that people with interesting stories to tell might stay here. Uh, but boy, the guests I've had this week. I bet you could give Amelia stories to run for their money now, huh? Oh, speaking of her, have you seen my mom around? He says he was heading home to Green Ridge. You sure seem chipper. You saved the world of something. It's funny because we do. <clears throat> One place left. Green Ridge. Go to green people. Okay. Green ruffles have green ridges. It's generally not a good idea to eat green ruffles. No, too late. No, that it's typically zombie. means your your potatoes aren't going good. <laughs> Could you step in front of the counter? So did those books I sold you end up coming in handy? Nope. Yes. Handier than you could ever know. Neat. Well, don't forget to tell your friends. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see the things I taught you about spellbooks are put to good use. I'm afraid I have nothing left to teach you. The students have become the masters. You're still alive? Well, okay then. <laughs> That's all he says. In my infinite wisdom, I see that my work here is done. I'm not sure how much you actually helped us. I understand. You aren't sure because my help was incalculable. Yeah. Also, I don't know that. if you saw it any time in this, but there I forget what you have to do, but there's a certain line you could do where he says his girlfriend's sleeping upstairs. Yeah, I found that which, one in my Which is very right. funny. Just the idea that, oh yeah, the dev of this game is literally just in upstairs in that one building. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no one's ever done that. Mm -mm. I still let them do most of the talking. The heroes return! Been trying to work on a song to tell the tale of a righteous quest to save you from that prison. Keyword is trying. It turns out it's hard to rhyme with non Euclidean. Looks like we're trying to finish this song will be our next righteous quest is bugs. Oh yeah, I can also poke the statue for some dialogue. That's for doing a gift of magic. I hope Verena doesn't mind looking at this old statue. It raised too many questions if we took it down or updated it. <clears throat> Hey, Claire was just telling me the amazing story of what happened at Mount Sappho. Or at least the part where she says he's allowed to share. I guess I thought if it would go over my head anyway. The important part is that Javis won't be threatening Piggledies anytime soon. Ah, thanks, Claire. Bet you and Claire are happy you'll finally have some quiet time together, huh? Oh my god, yeah. With everything that's happened, I almost forgot you two finally started dating. Finally. The writing was on the wall for a very long time, Claire. Yeah, now you know how everyone else felt with you and Melody constantly all over each other for years. Touche. It'd be nice, though. Claire promised me adventure business this weekend, so we're gonna do something together. I got a big machete. Okay, our first date. <laughs> so excited. Any specific plans? I'm leaving it up to Beverly. She said she wants to surprise me. Oh, dear. <laughs> what? No snarky comment from Allison about how it's usually me orchestrating the crazy surprises? Nah, I'm all snarked out. I'm just happy for you two. Thanks, Allison. Oh, and Melody. I hope your amorous pouton training ends up helping, even if it didn't go as planned. It definitely did. Thank you, Beverly. And you know, we'd love to go on a double date with you two sometime. 
That would be wonderful! Yeah, you never know. Maybe. Invite Jody and Faith too. Make it a triple. And Verena and Zinnia. Are Neff and Nipsey an item? I'm only just now realizing I'm not sure if they're a couple and now I'm too afraid to ask them. <laughs> okay, this is turning into a list of a double day and more of a sapphic potluck. <laughs> Wait, Beverly, you crazy juniors. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, sapphic Seven potluck! potluck. <laughs> Something tells me we're gonna have a position over here at Piggly soon. I knew this day would come. You adventuring work had to take off eventually. I'm happy for you. I'm sure we'll still be seeing plenty of clear around here, though. Well, this week has been pretty eye-opening for me. Nearly ending the world and all that. I've decided I'm turning over a new leaf. No more apocalypses. <laughs> I'll be sure to use my magic more responsibly. And my first priority will be to finally fix your basement, Allison. Wow. I've kind of gotten used to the remodeling you gave it, though. Really? No. Fix it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't expect you to totally stop being a rebel, though, Claire. Yeah, that's one of the things we like about you. Some of us really like that about you. I mean, most people wouldn't have taken the risk you took performing that ritual at the final battle. But if you hadn't, we would have been goners. I guess you're right. Come on, I give you grief, but you know I've never been a sticker for following the rules either. It's just a matter of including us in your decision-making more often. Yeah, you're right. I know I'm technically the leader of the guild, but we're a team. And more importantly, you're my friends either in spite of or because of how difficult I am. Besides, this is only the beginning for the Novas. Damn it! The U in we Super more... Lesbian RPG 2. <laughs> <laughs> no, We've course. more than proven how capable we are. Now it's just about, you know, running a sustainable adventuring business. That sounds like a problem for next week's Melody to worry about. Right. No need to burn ourselves out. Okay, rest well, you two. You've more than earned it. And in case I've never actually said it, I'm really glad I asked you to join my guild. There's no one I'd rather have saved the world with than my best friends. Likewise, Claire. No. What do they think you Look, I'm not always here having tea. I mean, I'm off doing lots of important adventure work, just like you guys. You just... So I happen to catch, always catch me here during my brags. <coughs> Don't remember the voice for her either. Oh, well, whatever. I didn't, I didn't remember After either. this stream, it won't matter anymore. At least not until the sequel. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's uh, that's next week's Jonas's problem. <laughs> okay, more like next year. Or uh, next... More like next decade. Yeah, well, yes. Uh, peace and quiet at last. Either. But I wonder will I start to miss the excitement of this past week. Nope, I'm still following reports from the attack. Not gonna miss it. <laughs> <laughs> You've really been raising the bar for us, you know. Probably is coming up with a new training regiment so we can keep up with you guys. I think you might be going overboard, but it's nice to have some new goals to aspire to. I haven't felt as excited to see myself in proven years. Holy, holy crap! I knew you could do it. I mean, okay, I didn't think you'd have to save the world in your first week. That's bananas. But I knew you were capable of great things. Thanks for always having my back, Holly. I suppose Faith was right about you after all. Thank you for your help, Novus. The Green Ridge Paladin Brigade is in your debt. But don't expect this to become a regular occurrence. Oh, we're renovating the training room, actually. Holly went a little too ham on the training dummy again. Ah, good. I was hoping to see you two. I hope this goes without saying, but... No one else can know the specifics of what happened this week. 
I know it's unfair. You did something truly, absolutely incredible, and you can't tell anyone what really happened. But... No, we understand. They know more, Faith. It's probably for the best that nobody knows where their new neighbor Verena came from. I mean, it would be nice if things went better than the last time she was living on Reverie. I don't think she wants that heat. Thank you. I'm glad we're on the same page. That being said, after what you did, you might just have some more adventuring work in store in the future, courtesy of the Guardian's office. If you think you're up for the workload, that is. You know it. After we've had some time to recuperate. I probably shouldn't even use magic for days. Oh, absolutely. Jody and I were thinking the same thing. Yeah, now that Green Ridge is safe, I finally convinced Faith to take a vacation. I don't know where we're going to go yet, but a week off will do us both good. Wow, a whole week? I know it's a long time for Green Ridge to be without its guardian, but... I mean, we've got the artist formerly known as the Goddess of Magic living here now. I think we'll be safe for a few days. You deserve it, Faith. <clears throat> we wouldn't have been able to get through all this without you. Have some fun with your girlfriend. Bring me back a souvenir, Jody. Like what? Uh, I don't know. A cool rock or something? Can do. <laughs> yeah, cool rock. Man, I'm still thinking about what you two did. Those transformations. I'm still workshopping a name. Whatever you call it, every time I think I understand magic, it finds new ways to stupefy me. Sorry I couldn't be more help compared to you at the end there. Humble as ever, I see. Hey, come on. If you and Faith hadn't protected us, Javis would have disintegrated us in an instant. That's by no means an exaggeration, dear. I suppose that's true. We've just seen and done a lot of crazy things this past week. It's hard to keep things in perspective. You know, Jody, this might be kind of weird, but... I used to envy you a lot. What do you mean? It sort of felt like you were the type of person every referring me to. And it felt like I'd never catch up. I mean, you're such a natural hero. Make it look effortless. Believe me, it takes a lot of effort. I guess that's something I've been working on lately. That need to be everyone's perfect hero. But in the end, it was you who saved me. I owe you one, Melody. Consider us even for the save back in the day. <laughs> hey, Faith, can I use the Zinnia tubes, TM? They're not cut. Yes, they are. Maybe you can send a message to Zinnia some other time. I have a feeling she's busy. Very, very busy. <laughs> <laughs> you have plenty of time to paint now, huh, Faith? Believe me, after this past week, I'm going to savor this free time. probably figure out whose house this was, huh? Probably. This ended up not being the most sustainable business anyway. Yeah, you are our only customers. Couldn't imagine why. Pepper also tried to buy something from us, but she wanted to pay us with her grandfather's stray beard hairs. We had to deliberate on that one for a few hours. She said they were like, super magic. Well, maybe you should try finding something more age-appropriate to sell. Like fireworks! Yeah, horrible, right. horrible fireworks! I right, know. <laughs> we could go into asbestos removal. That's worse. These are getting worse, not better. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll figure it out eventually. Murder coal. <laughs> I really enjoy these two characters. <laughs> Instantly cruel and evil. Ah, uh, Mom! 
I like what you've done with the place, Allison. If I knew you were stopping by, I probably would have tidied up more. Please, I'm here to see you, not your house. And personally, I'm just relieved that you're okay. Faith filled me in on what happened. That was no small feat you just accomplished. That took real guts. I'm proud of you, kiddo. Aw, thanks, Mom. So how are things back in Mumford during the final battle? Turns out having me hold down the fort was the right call. The chaos on your end meant the electronic disturbances bothering the feral bots got a lot worse. We barely managed to hold them off until you fixed the root problem. Another heroic exploit for the citizens of Mumford to remember their great savior for, huh? Maybe. But the whole time, I just wanted to be there by your side, making sure you were okay. Guess I've just got to accept that my little girl is all grown up. Not too grown up to turn down help when she needs it, though. Actually, hey, how long are you going to be in town? Not sure, but probably at least a week or two. Why? How's about you and I do some treasure hunting together while you're here? Now you're talking. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, and before I forget, this place does seem a little cramped for two people. When do you think you'll be moving in together? Uh, okay, we should probably go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go crash at Melody's. See you around, Mom. Yeah, good. <clears throat> Yeah, but it's the end of the game. We need to go into strangers' houses. <laughs> yeah, gotta see what they're up to. Uh, library B. <laughs> well, we did it. Between your experiences and my careful note-taking, we filled out a bestiary. There's a lot of cool foes in there, huh? Yep, and the whole thing is completely worthless. What? <laughs> Why? Well, as I've been complaining about my notes this whole time, many of the interdimensional monsters you fought were total nonsense. Funny little videotape, guys. A giant gumbo machine, most of it eggs. Nobody's gonna believe this, even if it's all true. Not to mention, do you think your new friends like Nev and Glyph will appreciate being in a published bestiary? I guess you have a point. You also left a bunch of details out about what was actually going on. There's a whole entry in the end that you wouldn't even let me look at. It's, uh, complicated. Sorry, Mona. Faith sorters. That one's top secret. Well, even if this isn't going to be my big break in the world of monster research, there's a silver lining. It held up my end of the deal. Now Claire's got to get her crap out of the meeting room. It was all worth it in the end just for that. And in the end, don't you think you'll actually miss having Claire around here? No. Well, maybe I've developed a little, a little a bit more respect for what she does over the course of something this best here. But she still can't use the library as her office. Guess it's about time for the Novas to start looking for a more proper guild headquarters anyway. I mean, both of you move into Melody's house and then use Allison's house as the headquarters. <laughs> seems... that seems to work. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think Claire and Jody are home right now. Check the grill. Check the grill. 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 Jody's girl I probably enjoy. Thank God it made it through this week unscathed. <laughs> Speaking of which, did they ever fix that problem with the grill? That's hilarious. I never did figure out who painted this tint on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, balloon guy. Yep. Don't you get that around these sunny days? A nice summer blizzard might spice things up. We're good, but thanks. That's my dialogue. And I'm sticking to it. I'm just gonna pop over to Melody's now, son. So long for now, Green Ridge. Punch. Punch that bag. Nice Ooh. one. Guild tabards that we never wore. Yeah. Ready to call it a night, Mel? That night. Ah, the irony of it all. We finally get the internet and phone service back. We're reconnected with the outside world. 
And we can't tell anyone the full story of what really happened. Like anyone would believe us, even if we died. You have a point there. Besides, we know what we did. I'm proud of myself. And for once, I'm not terrified of my future. That matters more than all the external validation in the world, I'd say. Speaking of the future, any big plans for tomorrow? There's a whole world out there for us to see now that we don't have an apocalypse. God, I haven't even begun to think about that yet. We're really just getting started, huh? But for tomorrow, the main thing on the agenda is going to be sleeping in until noon and appreciating how comfortable it is in, bed, in this bed with you. Sounds like a plan. I still can't believe just how incredible we were back there. You were totally fearless. Do I know the truth? I was still terrified the whole time. I think I've got one big heroic moment in that like me per year, tops. But maybe that's enough. That's a win in my book, Mel. Well, time for some shut-eye. Good night, Melody. Love you. Love you too, Allison. And, and then she gets the char eyes, you know. <laughs> Kingdom I also needs a char eyes and she... what? <laughs> And there it is. Slarp Jen sh 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 it's Oh, there's uh, music. Okay. Yes. You. Yay, Kyle! Yay! <laughs> so. You also did enemy design for most of an egg. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I'm i very surprised about that, because I thought most of an egg was in horse RPGs. Does that mean Kyle has been involved that long? I mean, I Or maybe uh, most of an egg got a major redesign. <laughs> this is like the most of an egg special edition. <laughs> most of a redesign. Most of a redesign. <laughs> well, this was absurdly cute. Yes, it was. This it was, was a wonderful, wonderful and cute game. Then out then. Hold in breath for the sequel. I'm just happy to see what uh, the team does next. See, I, I honestly love this, that the hologram wizard is just a Shutterstock photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could tell that, by... That uh, feels appropriate that it's a stock photo. Uh, there's a couple of people in uh, the Patreon credits that I actually know. Let's see. Know yep. Uh, Draconic only... Manalist, I know DM. <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Who else do I know in here? I, I missed the first few letters, so I may have missed someone there. Jessica Stokes. I don't know her, but I like her name of Stokes. Kyle of course, there's a Kyle Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Corey <laughs> Bat. That's a good name. Uh, I like Morg Haunting the Morg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I know, uh, I know Neon Noble. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't see, I didn't see them. I know Toxo Glossa. Yep, they've been in the chat a couple times. Oh, have they? Uh, yeah. Somehow I've missed them every dang time. <clears throat> Unless I didn't, and I just forgot about it. Which is possible. Enterbrain is a good name. Chat says, where can we play this game? This game is available on both Steam and Itch.io. Um, they have the better version. They're, they have the same version, but the Itch.io won a larger portion of the, of the revenue goes to the people who actually made the game. Yeah. Plus, it comes with a fun bonus, I think. Also, look how cute Zinnia is. Yeah, if you if you get the itch version, you get the full resolution PDF of the prologue comic. Ah, oh, it's pretty sweet. I mean, they're all cute, but look at Zinnia. Yeah, I know Zinnia in her full dragon form with <laughs> Verena on her head. Ah, oh, what a lovely experience. All right, well, that's it for Slarpage. Yay! We have enough time for one Jackbox game. What <laughs> Jackbox game do we want it to be? Uh -huh. See, I, yeah, I knew that epilogue was going to take a while, but I forgot that we had to voice everything. It was going to end up taking like almost an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs>